If I was talking to my 14 year old self now and I had three pieces of advice to give him, I would say to do the things you enjoy, uh, not to worry so much about little things, and thirdly, not to put things off. Just if you want something, to do something, just go ahead and do it. My name is Rob Aitken. I am an optical engineer and I work for Opticat Limited that is a part of Tuvnod Group. I think the coolest thing about my job is uh, being presented with a problem, um, working hard on it, designing something that I've created myself, um, testing it, improving it, uh, and then have something that uh, in the, at the end of the day that works uh, and the client is happy with. Um, and the other really cool thing is a lot of things that I work on end up in space. So that's probably the coolest thing. So if there's one drawback about my job, I would say it's um, a lack of time on some projects because um, I'm working on lots of different projects at the same time um, and there's deadlines to meet. Um, so yeah, I would like to have a little bit more time on some projects, but that's just the way the world is. So I work for Opticat Limited, that are based in Livingston and they're part of the Tuvnord group. I work with lasers a lot. Um, and lining the lasers up with different types of lenses um, and optimizing the power coming from those lasers. Um, and then my goal is to minimize the optical system that we're designing and package it neatly um, and uh, cost effectively. And I work on lots of different projects at the same time, uh, which is great because I got to work on different things every day. Um, and they go into all different industries, the space industry, telecoms industry, uh, transport, uh, you name it, I work on a project for it. So um, yeah, there's a huge variety in my daily work life. A normal work day for me starts with usually an engineering meeting where we discuss uh, the progress of different projects that are going on and what needs to uh, be worked on. Um, and I'll check my emails to see if there's any uh, communications from the clients, anything I need to work on. Um, and I do a lot of 3D design. I use uh, the CAD package uh, SolidWorks um, to design the packages for the optical systems that I'm working on. It's much easier for me to explain to the client what I'm working on if they can see the, the 3D package that I've been working on, the, the design. Um, and then I like to go into the lab, uh, build some prototypes, uh, and really test out the idea to see if it's working. Um, and then if I have something that's working, that's uh, a proof of concept, um, we'll often perform optical tests on it to see if the power is correct. Um, we'll stick it in the, the parts in the oven uh, for 100 hours maybe. Uh, and then test to see if it's still working after being tested at a high temperature. And then I'll use those results from these tests um, to compare against other parts um, to see if it's up to standard. Uh, and then I'll relay th these results to the clients uh, and we'll discuss any changes I need to make to the optical design. Um, and I'll go back into the lab in the days later and uh, make those changes. I'm originally from Seven Oaks in Kent, uh, which is in the south of England, near London. Um, I went to university uh, in the University of Glasgow. I studied product design engineering. Um, and it was great actually because the course was split between the University of Glasgow and the Glasgow School of Art. So I did the, a lot of product design courses at the School of Art and all the engineering courses I did at the university. Um, so I really got a great mix of skills that then brought me towards this job in optical engineering. Um, so now I work in Livingston at OptiCap as an optical engineer. The main thing I think is to have um, a good background in engineering. Uh, it's a technical job, so you need the background skills in engineering. Um, I'd say you need to have a flair for design as well. Um, coming from a product design engineering background, um, I think my degree covers all those bases. Um, but also because it's a client-facing role, I think you need to be good with people as well because um, you're always in contact with a client, discussing different design options, so being, being personable is uh, very important in this role as well. 